the shocking truth about cheap, dumb solar. Is it possible to live a low bill lifestyle without sacrificing creature comforts? It is. In fact, it's never been easier. Now you don't need to live in a tent in your backyard to have tiny electricity bills, or switch off appliances at the power point, or freeze in winter and sweat in the summer. It's simple once you cut through the FUD, fear, uncertainty and doubt. FUD which comes from the mainstream media and yes, even some of your friends and family. But cutting through this FUD is the hard part. If you're yet to reach Tiny Bill Nirvana, it's probably not your fault. Ask any homeowner, especially one with a family, they'll tell you, despite their best intentions, that aircon's gonna blast and those showers, they're going to run long. When those high bills come, it's not your fault. Have you ever tried telling a 15 year old daughter to have a short shower? I have, it didn't end well. So what's the secret to living the Tiny Bill lifestyle? One where you don't have to give up your creature comforts or risk the wrath of a hormonal teen. As you might have guessed from this website's name, solar power is the set and forget solution. But if it's that simple, why doesn't everyone have it? And what's this you've heard in the news lately about the solar tax? Well, solar is a beautiful technology. 10 years ago, many people said, it will never catch on. People who blew past that FUD saw that going solar could decimate high electricity bills. Many who took the plunge saw their accounts go into credit. It was, and it still is, a total no-brainer. And so solar caught on, as you can see here. Now that it has caught on so much, it's starting to cause some problems for the grid. Problems that, let's be honest, might cause blackouts. These are fixable problems, but not for free, as some activists want. As Bill Nye says, Nothing's free, you idiots! Grow the fuck up! Who is going to pay for the issues that solar is causing the grid? And at the same time, how can we increase the grid's capacity to handle more solar? The last thing anyone wants is a blanket ban on solar exports to the grid. Such a ban would seriously hurt the savings potential of solar and increase CO2 emissions. Now the jury's out on the most fair solution. Right now, it looks like the answer is for solar owners to shoulder most of the cost. The proposal is to generate the funds needed by placing a surcharge on solar exported to the grid at certain times, a two cents per kilowatt hour surcharge. Now some reactionary solar crusaders have labeled this a solar tax. This proposed tax is what's behind the rallying cry you might have heard from the media or friends and family. Solar isn't worth it anymore. What's funny is, People have been saying this about solar for literally the past decade. And in that time, as solar continued its relentless uptake in Australia, it's never been true, seriously. But now you've heard of a lot of doom and gloom about this solar tax. And of course, anything negative about solar plays right into the hands of the naysayers. They'll seize on anything that confirms their biases. They're hoping that this solar tax will discourage you from going solar and they'll be laughing as you keep paying high electricity bills. <laughs> Moving way more of your hard-earned money into the pockets of energy companies than you need to. Most will be laughing as they too refuse to go solar and pay way more in electricity bills than they need to. Misery loves company after all. But for those of us who like to do our own research, the solar tax is quite reasonable and necessary. It will even pay you more for your solar, yes more, when the grid needs your energy the most. It makes those doomsayers look pretty silly, especially since it's only actually a tax on dumb solar. Enter smart solar. First, I'll say, the dumbest people of all don't even buy solar, despite owning a beautiful unshaded roof for it to go on. This is a real Neanderthal move. They're committing to decades of electricity bills that are way higher than they need to be. They are ignoring the benefits of new technology, like those friends we all have. You remember them? They refused to get a mobile phone for years. They've all got mobile phones now. Not far above them are the people who buy cheap, dumb solar systems using no-name brands from shoddy installers, ones that will cause them more problems in the long run. 
If you buy a dumb solar system in 2021, you risk harming the grid, preventing those who install solar after you from benefiting from it as much as you do, being penalized financially for exporting solar at the wrong times. If you buy a cheap, dumb system with a no-name inverter, making it smart after the fact will be expensive or even impossible. So how do you make a dumb system smart? A solar system becomes smart when you add a consumption monitor to it. Only well-known, reputable brands offer first-party consumption monitors. And if you install one badly, it can cause a lot of problems. If it's installed properly, you'll have a future-proof solar system. So why do you need one? Well, without a consumption monitor, a solar system can't regulate its output. It's either all on or all off. Any surplus energy generated will be sent to the grid whether the grid needs it or not. Owning dumb solar could soon be like driving a car without a speedometer on a highway full of speed cameras. If you want to avoid the fines, you don't stop driving you simply invest in a speedometer. If you want to avoid big electricity bills, don't let a future solar tax hold you back. Simply invest in smart solar, not dumb solar. The best way you can stick it to your energy company is to go solar. Reduce the amount of money that moves from your pocket to the energy retailer's pocket. Even they know the future that's coming. They're building solar and battery wings of their businesses. It's taken them long enough but they don't want to be left behind. Anyone who's smart, thinks for themselves, and researches solar comes to the same conclusion. They can shrink their electricity bills and live a life of comfort, free of the fear of bill shock, free of the guilt when they turn on the aircon, free from high electricity bills. So don't be a victim to high electricity bills year after year after year. Join the smart people who buy smart solar. But how do you find a smart installer? And how do you compare prices so you know you're paying a fair price for a quality system? Well, that's the service my website, Solar Quotes, provides. I'll connect you with up to three installers in your area to arrange quotes for high quality, smart solar systems. Since 2009, over half a million Aussies have trusted me to source quotes for solar for their homes. So I must be doing something right. Just go to my website, solarquotes.com.au, pop your postcode into the top right box, fill in the form, and I'll do my absolute best to connect you with installers I trust.